Thank you. No problem. This coffee tastes like shit anyway. Not so bad, my two-day standards. So, Eckert, what brings you here? We've got a problem. We lost all contact with the NATO HQ six hours ago. Even the wartime information channel remains perfectly silent. We didn't locate any critical failures within the network. Then we focused on Big Iron and eventually we found an anomaly. What kind of anomaly? Well, Big Iron recently started to use a small part of its resources to run a new kind of software. What do you mean? Something you didn't notice before? No. Something Big Iron just created out of nothing. Some kind of uh, communication interface. Even though each brain of the AI is designed to support the others in case of failure, the system won't allow one of the brains to act all by itself. This has nothing to do with the system. Could you get to the point, please? This crisis is probably the result of the war situation. Well, in that case, we should have received a transmission from NATO. We received something, but not exactly from NATO. Six minutes prior to communication breakdown, BRM picked up a short encrypted signal coming from an unidentified beacon. Interesting. Well, this is definitely not a NATO transmission. There seems to be a rhythmic pattern, but the encryption is really unusual. Did you identify the source? Not yet, but that's what we're planning to do. We must enter Big Aaron's operating system. So this beacon is responsible for the anomaly in the AI's brain? That's what we suppose, yes. And who knows about this situation? Only the crew at the command center, but we must anticipate. We won't be able to add the truth too long from the refugees. Okay. Tell me more about your plan. Here is Big Aaron's chamber. The problem is the main access gates have been closed to avoid any contamination from the upper levels. That's not a problem. We can get to level five through the maintenance corridors. 20 minutes, max. Good. The electric power has been turned off in the collapse of this section, but we'll activate the backup power to ease your progression. Okay, great. What about biological security? Ah, yes. Security in this sector is very tight. The guy's chamber is filled with neurotoxins, but you'll have a respiratory mask. Sounds like one hell of a ride. Give me just five to ten more minutes to access Big Iron's operating system. Anything else I should know? Yes, sir. You must keep in mind that we won't be able to communicate with you via radio until you activate your terminal. From there, we'll be able to help diagnose the synoptic processes. And once I'm inside, you'll track the source. That's right. If you manage to break through the communication interface, we can locate the beacon. Then we'll send a communication burst right to the source. Why should we do that? To identify ourselves and to say that we're not armed, just in case. Good manners never hurt anyone. Ridiculize 7, do you read me? Loud and clear. Synaptic processor number 3 is OK. Wait a second. OK, number 3 confirmed. Kane, you can launch the connection test. Confirmed. Now that's our signal. We've breached AI security. Good job, Pearson. Begin the source localization. Kane, be ready to start the communication burst. Whenever you want. It seems that we're definitely receiving no other frequencies than this one, so it should take no more than 10 minutes to locate the source. I'm ready to send our greetings. Okay. Do it. 
done. What's happening? Echo! Echo, do you read me? Shit. Come on, not now. What's going on? We've got a security breach. All of the shelter's equipment is down. Nothing's responding. What about the Yaron? Well, he seems to be functional, but the AI's brains are cutting off all access paths. It's emergency hatch 97. The locks are being opened. It's in the big orientation. Pearson, scan the FM frequencies and try to catch Kane. This has nothing to do with the system. What the hell just happened? We've been hacked. The Garen doesn't obey us anymore. Yeah, I can see that. It seems it's acting all by itself. Apparently, yes. But the intrusion came from that beacon. We've located it five kilometers from our position. Can I go home now? Not just yet. An evacuation hatch has been held out. Shit. Where is the access? 82 meters from your position. That's brilliant. Okay, Darren. Tell me where I'm going. Okay. We don't know what you're going to do. Not as if I had a choice. And it's still better to die up there than in this hole. Commander, we just picked up a transmission on the emergency frequency. It's Kane. Pass it to the main channel. I'm fighting by the signal. I might have identified the source of the signal, but it's... I don't know if I've been by what I'm seeing up here. It's huge. It's static. I'm positive this is not one of our aircraft. I've never seen anything like it. In fact, it doesn't look man-made. I repeat, 
This is Charlton Canyon Ace. I'm on the surface. I don't know if you can hear me or if you like seven, but I hope so.